Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about website layout with uh, table tag. We will create a, with a website layout with table tag. So let's start. So I'll come to this body and here I will create the table tag. So table and um, I'll close this. Now I'll apply some properties on this uh, table. So first I will use um, borders and I will make this one and then I'll uh, provide the uh, width property. So I'll uh, take the width property equals to 80% uh, of the browser uh, width. So 80% and now I'll uh, go down and here I'll create um, table rows. So I'll create four of them. So I'll uh, copy this control C this and now I'll control V it here control V again and control V again so the first row is for uh, the header area the second one is for the uh, menu area the third one is for content area and side menu and the fourth one is for footer so I'll uh, create uh, this uh, a TD inside this because I only have uh, one header here so I will uh, create only one TD here and in this TD I'll uh, provide an h1 tag and uh, inside this h1 tag uh, I will have my website name so I'll name this programming guru by the, by the way subscribe to programming guru now the first uh, row is created now the second row we have uh, Mino so so here i'll create a single td and it's inside this single uh, td i will have multiple uh, anchor tags so i'll use a uh, anchor tag and here i'll use a uh, uh, home this is the uh, mino name and it, uh, i'll use a uh, href here and then after this i'll use a vertical line and now i'll copy this control c this and now i'll control v it here i'll make a space here and now i'll put a vertical line again and then i will uh, paste it again then again a vertical line and then i will paste it again so now this is uh the first one is home then this one is uh about us and then this one is uh gallery and the last one is contact us now control is it and uh and let's uh go to this go live and cl click this now you can see we have uh, a header as well as a menu area created now we will go again to our code file now we will uh, create the side menu as well as the content area so um, this is the uh, row for that so i'll create two tds inside here two columns inside here one for the content area and the other one is for the uh, um, uh, for the side menu now in this content area i will use uh, h2 and uh, i'll name this uh, uh, education tutorials and then after this, I will add in two uh, p tags. So one p tag, or I'll, I'll copy these from uh, here. This tags.html because we have some data inside this. So I'll uh, copy these two uh, p tags. So I'll control C this, and now I'll go to this table.html and uh, I'll paste it here. Control V it here. Now I'll control S it. And now if I go and refresh this, 
Now you can see we have the content area, but, the, but this area is too small. So uh, I'll go here to code file and uh, I'll say this TD to take its width equal to 80% of the table so area. So I'll use 80% and now I'll control S it and now if I go here and refresh this now you can see it is refreshed and it has made some area for this uh, uh, side menu so we will create a side menu inside uh, there so I'll go here to the TD this one is the side the TD per side menu so here we will create an on order list so ul and inside this i'll create li and i'll use home here now i'll copy this and see this and now i'll control it here four times so home and this will become uh, so i have to um, provide the anchor tag as well so i'll copy it from here I'll copy this, control C this, and now I'll control V it here. Copy it again because it is not working. So I'll control C it, and now I'll control V it here and control V it here too. Here as well, and here as well. And now I'll change this to um, about us. This to gallery, and this to contact us. Now I'll control S it, and now I'll go again here, and now I'll refresh this. So it is showing all the tags why it is showing the tags because we have not uh, this opening tag so i'll use this again and now i'll control it set again and now if i refresh it again and now you can see we have a side menu now we will add the putter as well so for that i will come to the last td and uh, here and here i will create a td so I'll use here uh, td close this and here I will use add copyright programming guru and now I'll control S it and now I'll uh, refresh this now our uh, website template is created so now I'll move this uh, table to the center so I'll go here and now I'll go to top and I'll make this uh, table align center. Now I'll control it again. And now if we check it again, so now it is center. Now I will merge these two columns this one and this one and this one and this one. So for that, I will come here to this. And now I'll go to this t td i'll make a space and i'll use call span two and uh, similarly i'll go to this td and i'll use call span uh, two and i'll control it it now if i go to browser now you can see this one and this one will be merged now if i refresh this now you can see that it is mulled. So now I'll uh, move this uh, menu to the top. So for that, I'll come here and I'll go to a side menu on this one. And I will use uh, this V align equals top. And I'll control S it. And now if I go and refresh, which means vertical alignment so now you can see it is moved to top now i'll uh, may use some background color so for that i'll uh, go here to the top and uh, first i will uh, use bg color on this uh, 
table row so i'll use bg color it is uh, together color equal to and uh, here i will use a sign and uh, i'll control it say now i'll use uh, on this as well so um, i'll use uh, bg color equals yellow control is it and i'll also give a sign color to the footer so i'll go to footer and i'll use here um, bg color um sign and now i'll control s it now i'll go again here and now if i refresh this now you can see we have color on this color on this as well now i'll uh, make some uh, spacing between these lines and these texts so for that i will go again to this uh, i'll go to a table tag to the top and here i'll use a cell spacing equals zero and i will uh, control it set and now if i go and refresh this now you can see that our cell spacing uh, is uh, made zero and now it is one line and now i'll give it cell padding uh, so cell padding will move this uh, text toward the middle so for that i'll go again here and give it cell uh, padding equals 10 and now i'll control it it and now if i go and refresh this now you can see that this text is moved a bit to the middle so i think that's all for today i hope you liked the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you